You know what Hannah says in the second chapter of 1 Samuel? The Lord made me a big mouth. Now, we don't normally say that. He has enlarged my mouth. I just can't stop from talking about him. If we do not learn to love him passionately so that he becomes the sole object of our lives, if we let idols get in the way in this materialistic, hedonistic, egocentric age, then we will rob God of something very special. He saved us to fellowship with us. Arthur Berry lived up in Boston during the Roaring Twenties, and he was a, a good jewel thief, as jewel thieves go, and lived uh, for quite a few years without the police finding him until he was turned in by a jealous woman. He spent 19 years in prison, and after his release, he went incognito to a little fishing village north of Boston, and there he lived in seclusion, a model citizen. But eventually, as they often do, the newspapers found out about Arthur Berry and his background, and they came up to interview the great ex-jewel thief. Mr. Berry, in all of your life as a, as a criminal, as a thief, you stole an awful lot from an awful lot of people. Can you tell us, do you remember, uh, from whom you stole the most? Mr. Berry said, I would say that the person I stole the most from was, well, it was Arthur Berry. He said, I could have been anything I wanted to be. But I chose to live a life of crime, and as a result, I spent most of my adult life behind prison bars. Yes, I, I'd say I stole the most from Arthur Berry. Christian, he says, love me. Love me because you know who I am. And then with that love burning in your breast, labor, labor for me. Labor with me. And I will do my work through you. And you will be blessed indeed. If we are not busy for him, then we will rob God of something very special. As you know, God's people will be robbed. Ah, we need all the help we can get. We need one another. And there's no one dispensable in God's family. But I believe we'll suffer the most. We'll lose the most. If we don't do what he calls us to do. To walk hand in hand with our God. To get to know him. And then with that knowledge transforming our lives to live for him in a world that knows so little about him.